Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial series where we will be making a nature 3D diorama. We're going to be aiming for something that looks like this, there's going to be a lot of techniques. Over the course of this series we're going to cover setting up the base mesh, sculpting in detail with a multi-resolution modifier, sourcing textures for materials, breaking up those textures with noise, we're going to look at adding water and creating a water shader, we're going to talk about where we can source 3D rock scans and then integrate them with the ground material using a smart shader. So there's going to be a lot in here that I hope you will take a lot from. We're starting from the very beginning, the scratch. It's always good to have a general idea of where you're going. So we're going to aim for something like, I don't know, something with a little stream in it. So it's always good to get some reference images. Um, I also like the colors in this one. We're seeing, in fact, this one's very nice. So uh, I'm going to save this as a reference and that will come in useful later. I'm just going to keep that. So I'm just going to split the screens here, uh, change this to an image editor, open, find where I saved that and just load that there. So I've got it, but we're not going to make it exactly like this. I'm just using it as a reference for the kind of trees and the colors and the kind of stream that's going on here. So to start off with, I'm going to define kind of a size I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go for about 20 meters by 20 meters. I'm going to delete the default cube and add in another cube but I'm going to change the parameters down here to 20, which will place in a 20 meter cube. I'm going to tab to edit mode and I'm going to Alt Z to see through everything. Select these bottom vertices, press Shift S and cursor to selected. So I'm going to move my cursor down here. Now I can right click, set origin to 3D cursor that just puts my origin down at the very bottom of this so that I can press Alt G, which will reset its position and put it back to zero. It just means that I've got a flat surface down on the bottom, which is at zero, which is always good. And then I'm going to take these vertices and just move them down. G, Z, move them down to somewhere like here. Now I've got my kind of base mesh that I'm going to work with. So we're going to need some detail here to work with though. Uh, there's not really anything here right now. So I'm going to right click subdivide this face a few times, just right click subdivide, I would maybe get something about that. Now one problem though is that because I've created all this geometry and this geometry doesn't meet down here, this will cause problems later on. So see how these lines come over to here and then at this point we've just got one face. This will become a problem. Uh, so even though I just set up all that time doing all that other stuff, I'm actually going to need to delete these bottom vertices. Select my edges with two on the keyboard. And then if I hold alt and click, I can select an edge loop. And then if I hold shift alt, I can select the other edge loop. And I'm just gonna select these edge loops around here. Now I go to my side view, press E to extrude and Z to lock it on the Z axis. I'm gonna move that down to the bottom. This just means that now I've got something better to work with. All right, so so the way I'm gonna probably have this, I'm gonna have kind of a pool down here. The stream's gonna kind of come up from over here. So it's kind of gonna go come down the stream and then collect at a pool down at the bottom. So I'm looking at my top view. I'm gonna to select the faces that are over at this end. And to select something a bit more natural, I'm gonna click and hold here and use the lasso tool instead and maybe just kind of, uh, I don't know, let's select something like this. This might be my area. I'm gonna turn my, all my proportional editing up here and keep it on smooth, that'll be good. And press G, Z to move. And if I scroll with my mouse wheel, I can affect the area that's going to come up. And this bit's kind of gonna be a little bit of a hill that comes down, so maybe something like this. Uh, over here is gonna be the pool. And I don't know, maybe the pool's like that. I want to deselect these faces because I don't want to work with them. Ooh. So if I hold Alt, oh no, Shift, <laughs> and then I can deselect. Nope. Uh, I hold Control, and I deselect. G, Z, remove these down, something like that. And my goal here is just to kind of get the, the, the general proportions of the scene. I'm going to sculpt it a little bit to make it a bit nicer, but I'm just kind of, I want the general layout. So I'm kind of being rough at this point. I'm not really thinking too much about it. Just trying to get something that works. 
so there's really no need to overthink it too much at this point. That will work as a pool. Right click shade smooth, so we don't have that blockiness. And edit mode, tab to edit mode, right click shade smooth, there we go. All right, I'm gonna select these bottom edge loops with Alt and click again. And then S, Z, zero, flatten them out. But I'm gonna turn off my proportional editing for that, which I can press O. S, Z, zero. Whoa, S, Z, zero. And let's move that back down. In fact, I will move everything up. A, Z, G, Z, move that up. And let's maybe even move all of these up a little bit, just to give it some depth. Let's go to our modifiers now and add a multi-resolution. This is going to give us details that we can turn off and on. It's gonna subdivide the whole geometry here. So if we press, oh, well, we have to go into object mode. I'm gonna press subdivide and we're gonna do it a few times. Now, you can see though, when I did that, we lost some of the structure up here. Um, so we're going to reinforce it with control R and we're just gonna push this up about to here, control R, push that down to here. So when we subdivide this, it's gonna keep that structure. Subdivide, that's a little bit better. And we'll do it a few times, maybe only three times, I think will give us enough geometry to work with. And when we control tab, go to sculpt mode. And now I can kind of just sculpt in some detail. Now, because there's gonna be a stream kind of coming in the middle here, I might kind of hold control to do the opposite of adding detail. I don't want to go too low, but I don't know, just kind of run I'm not really a sculptor, so I'm not to the best at this. I'm just going to kind of make it a little less, uh, just add a bit of randomness to it, I guess. Change the strength. Maybe I'll use a clay tool. Again, turn down the strength. I'll just kind of rough it up a bit, really. There are lots of good sculpting tutorials on YouTube. So if you want to see how to sculpt properly, I would definitely look there and don't use this as a sculpting tutorial. Really all I'm doing is just adding a bit of randomness to it I, is what I want to do, just to make it look less uniform. All right, we'll go with that for now.